Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens I have currently inked up uh, this week. So I think let's briefly go through these one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Visconti Speakeasy. We have the Visconti St. Basil. The Visconti Jacques de Molay and this is the last Templar. We have the Visconti Camelot, we have a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red, we have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Kauseki, we have a Sailor King of Pen, and this is the Pro Gear Ocean, we have a Molteni Royal Blue Luchens Modelo 55S, we have a Scribo Fill in the Verde Prato, and a Scribo Fill in the Verde Bosco. So I think let's look at these pens in a little bit more detail. This is the very nice Visconti Speakeasy. I do actually have a uh, red um, my pen finial here. Uh, it's just a birthstone or a gemstone there. Now this is a pen that I like a lot and it is a love-hate relationship and I'll tell you why it's a beautiful celluloid you can see here these lovely reds and blues and it is a faceted pen as well so you can see these facets here uh, although the body here is actually very round it's not faceted only the cap is and also the uh, filling knob there or what would be a filling knob now this is a Visconti and I do like Viscontis and it is made of celluloid so I really do love the celluloid of it, it and it does have a 23 cap palladium medium nib and I love these nibs and I love how bouncy they are. The idea is that this isn't a filling knob but you unscrew this and because it's the speakeasy you can hold six for do that milliliters of ink into that chamber there and you can actually choose also what you want to actually put in there so you can actually change that if you want to so you have there you'll see now the thing that I probably dislike the most of this pen I love how it writes it writes juicy wet is the filling mechanism and the filling mechanism it can only hold a cartridge or a Caveco squeeze converter so I find that I tend to run out of ink after writing about a page of A4 maybe a little bit maybe a, a page and a half but I do love this pen and I love it a lot and I got this pen because I wanted the St. Basil and the St. Basil was too expensive or at least for me at that moment in time and I decided that I would get this and I love actually seeing this beautiful celluloid here. Uh, it's a beautiful pen so I have that one inked up or I will have that one inked back up this week. Obviously the converter is empty at the moment. And then we have the St. Basil and this is basically very similar uh, but this actually has a real ruby on the top of the pen there and again it's that beautiful blue and red celluloid and again the faceted cap here but it has this overlay going on of St. Basil and this really is a beautiful uh, gold overlay and the reason why I decided to get this was because first off the price was actually a lot lower than I could have previously bought it for and if I had known that then I probably wouldn't have bought the speakeasy but this was a couple of years uh, apart though uh, again this has a 23 cap palladium medium nib which again is very nice but this has a double reservoir it's a power filler or power vac and this is why I tend to like this one a little bit more than the speakeasy because this one does hold a lot more ink 
so I was really glad that I was able to add that one to my collection and now that I actually have both the <laughs> Speakeasy and the St Basil and would I sell maybe the Speakeasy if somebody offered me a very generous amount of money for it I'm not so sure maybe I would maybe I wouldn't um, I do have two St Basils I have the fountain pen and I have a rollerball I do like the speakeasy. I do like it without that overlay, to be honest. It's just that the the one downside is it doesn't hold a lot of ink. The next pen that I have inked up this week is the lovely Visconti Last Templar Edition. And this is the Jacques de Marlay. And this is a really stunning pen. And I'm so glad that I was able to pick this up. And I picked this up from... Uh, Marco at Novelli and this is a beautiful pen and I love the 23 cap palladium nibs and this does have a 23 cap palladium medium nib on it and for me this again is a nice oversized pen I do like my oversized pens and I do like somewhat weighty pens this isn't as weighty as it looks it's actually a lot lighter uh, it is a power vac as well so if i unscrew this i don't pull this knob out because there's another knob underneath it and you can see that chalice there so for me it's a power vac and it writes exquisitely well so this is another pen that i do love having inked up and i've been writing with this week the next pen is the Visconti Camelot. And I do still love this pen so much. The chainmail on this pen is absolutely exquisite. It's a beautiful pen. And I had never ever seen this pen prior to buying it in in a catalogue or online anywhere. I never knew that this pen ever existed until I saw a couple of photos uh, from the Toronto Pen Show. So uh, at that point I decided to buy it and it has one of the older 18 cat gold nibs and it's a medium nib from Visconti there. It's a power vac filling pen. I just love everything about this pen. The section does taper down quite a lot and it is a little bit more thinner than I prefer. So I tend to start to hold it up a little bit higher on the threads but I love the pen. It's a beautiful pen. The nib writes exquisitely well. It writes as good as many of my 23 cap palladium nibs do. It's just a, a, a dream to write with. And then we have the Classic Pens LM1. And I picked this up at the London Pen Show a number of years ago. And this was... I remember the lead up to the London Pen Show. I, I typically make a list of pens that I will be interested in looking at or buying at the Pen Show. And I kind of foolishly or stupidly put the Classic Pens LM1 down, knowing that I would never be able to get it. And likewise, the Classic Pens LB5, knowing that I would not be able to get it. And I rolled up to the pen show, and I rolled up, got in with my early visitor's pass, and made a beeline to Sarge's table, and lo and behold, he had this Classic Pens LM1 there, sitting there. And I'm like, I do not believe my luck. I wanted it this, because it was it, the flame red version, and it's a Bock nib, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. These are cartridge converter pens, but I really like this pen. So for me, I wanted this one and I saw it and I kept hold of this. And then suddenly my eyes started darting around just to see what else Sarge had. And if you've ever been to Sarge's table, if you've any sort of if you've looked at any of my videos where I have videoed Sarge's table, you will know that there are a lot of pens he has that you will probably it will catch your eye and that you will just love to look at and then suddenly i saw this classic pens lb5 and then i saw a white one and i knew that i couldn't afford all three at that moment in time i didn't have enough money on me 
And I'd also set a budget, and this was the first pen show that I think I'd gone to. Was it the first pen show? Yeah, it must have been the first pen show I'd gone to. So I set what was quite a high budget, and I decided that I would not go over that budget. And I did, but n probably by about half of what I had set the budget to. But I saw this one, and it was a toss-up between this one and the white uh, LB5. So this is the brown Kalseki, and I decided to buy this one. And I'm glad I did, because it has a beautiful 21 cat. This is the Sailor King of Pen Nib. And my only regret is, in hindsight, I should have just blown my budget completely and bought the white one as well. The white one got sold uh, soon after, and I I don't know where that went. Uh, I did kind of kick myself uh, because I should have bought it. But I also know that I had a budget, and I'd already gone about 50% over the budget. So for me, it was sensible not to buy the white one. However, sort of in hindsight, you kind of think, well, I probably let that one go, and uh, I sh probably shouldn't have done so, uh, I don't know, it's it's what we do, isn't it? It's uh, what we look at the pens and we buy a pen and sometimes you have to choose between either two pens or, or more pens and you just have to let a pen go. So, my next pen inked up is the Sailor and this is the King of Pen Pro Gear and this is the Ocean Limited Edition. And this was a pen that I actually saw uh, about a year ago when it was uh, released. And I liked the colour of it. And I like Sailor King of Pens. I'm not so keen on the Pro Gear, sort of the flat-ended version. I prefer the, the rounded cigar tapered ends more. But I do like these nibs. And so I decided that I would pick this one up. And I did recently. And... Uh, this was in 2020, I think it was in May, May, yeah, probably May or June, but this is a really nice pen, and I like it, I do like the Sailor King of Pens. The next one is this Molteni, and this is the lovely Royal Blue Luchens Modelo 50, or Model 55S. And this has the blue luchens material in, which is a sort of semi-transparent material there. And you can see the, the piston mechanism uh, through that. And it does have an 18 karat gold nib. It's a medium nib and it's got an ebonite feed. You just see how thin that feed is. Crazily thin. But it's a piston filling pen and I love it. I love how this writes. It's a beautiful writing pen. Uh, I, I just love it. So for me, I have this one inked up again this week. And then I have my Scribos inked up, or some of my Scribos. It's not all of my Scribos, because I have uh, what, five, six, seven Scribos now. Uh, this is... nearly dropped it there. <laughs> this is the Scribo feel in the Verde Prato. And this is a beautiful material. It's a limited edition Scribo. And you'll see the cap finial there. And then you'll see, you probably won't see it here, but it says Scribo on the, the blind cap there. And then you've got Scribo there. But this is a beautiful pen. It's a resin pen. These are 14 cat gold nibs. And this is a medium nib. But these write very, very well. Uh, and strangely, I tend to write mostly with Tomoro River paper. And I like Tomoro River paper because it's lovely, smooth paper. And I find that a lot of my nibs glide across the paper. And I was actually writing with this on some Sylvine paper recently. And uh, this week. And it's a little bit like Rhodia paper. It's very waxy. And I noticed actually this nib is singing on, on that paper. And it was creating a lot of feedback as well for, because of the resonance. And I actually thought, you know what, I don't like this. But then I kind of realized that this is what we get a lot. 
and if we change papers suddenly the nibs write very very differently and sometimes we like it and sometimes we don't so i do like writing with this on temere river paper so for me this is a, a really nice pen to write with and then last but not least, we have another Scribo feel, and this is in the Verde Bosco. And this is a much more darker green, but you can just see that material there as well. Beautiful pen. Again, it's a limited edition Scribo. It has a 14 karat gold nib. It's a medium nib. It's effectively the Extra Flessibile Omas nibs. Very, very flexible flexible nibs and very very nice nibs to write with so uh, I have that pen inked up as well this week so I think with that let's go and do a writing sample so the first pen here is the Visconti Speakeasy so we'll do an ink swatch here and this is quite a nice red ink so this is the Visconti speakeasy and it is a medium 23 cap palladium nib and then the ink in here is Mont Blanc corn poppy red and it's a lovely lovely red ink that you can see there the next pen is the Visconti St Basil and we'll do an ink swatch and again you can see lovely red ink And this is the Visconti Saint Basil. And I always have to sort of chuckle within myself on this because you might want to turn down your volume now if you're listening on headphones, but Saint Basil always reminds me of a great British sitcom called Forty Towers with John Cleese. And John Cleese is Basil Forty, and his wife Sybil always shouts, Basil! Basil! And I just love that as a sitcom, so I always think of St. Basil as Basil Forty. Uh, if you haven't watched that, I would definitely watch that because it's a beautiful uh, British comedy sitcom uh, from the 19, late 1970s, early 80s, ran for two seasons or two series but a great film, or great TV show I should say uh, and it's this is a 23 cap palladium nib uh, medium nib and it's also inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy red the next pen is the Visconti and this is the last Templar edition Jacques de Molay so we'll do an ink swatch here now diamine Earl Grey can be quite a dry ink I find but it's an ink that I like a lot so this is a Visconti Jacques Oops I'm already getting ahead of myself De Molay putting a D there when it should be an S uh, this is a medium 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Diamine Earl Grey The next pen is the Visconti Camelot. And we'll do an ink swatch here. This is a beautiful purpley ink. I say purpley because it's not quite purple. It's a Visconti 
Camelot in a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Mont Blanc Lavender hence purpley and it's Mont Blanc Lavender Purple If we can get a P in there as well. I'm having problems spelling today, it seems. The next pen is the Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. So we'll do an ink swatch. And so this is the classic pens LM1 in the flame red and it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is also Mont Blanc corn poppy red and it's actually can be quite difficult to actually try and write and talk at the same time. Something I've got used to doing these videos, but it also can become quite difficult as well. Now and again, not all the time, just now and again. So the next pen is the Classic Pens LB5 in the Kawasaki. We'll do an ink swatch. and this is quite a narrow nib uh, it's basically a medium asian nib which tends to be more of a, a fine nib in in western terms so this is the classic pens lb5 in the kawasaki and it's a medium 21 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Oshizuku and it's Sakushi which is a nice brown ink the next pen is the Sailor Kinger pen and this is the Pro Gear Ocean Limited Edition. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I do tend to find these, uh, this is a Pelican Edelstein ink, and I do tend to find that these tend to be a little bit more on the drier side. Not all of the Pelican Edelstein inks are, but quite a lot of them I find tend to be. So this is the Sailor it's king of of <laughs> pen and it's the pro gear ocean and again this is a medium 21 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is pelican edelstein and it's aqua marine now I have had this in some broad nibs and they write quite wet so I think a lot of the pelican Edelstein inks tend to write drier if you are using them in a more finer nib the next pen is the Molteni and this is the Royal Blue Luchance Modelo 55S so we'll do an ink swatch And I do love how this writes. It's really nice writing nib. So this is a Molteni. And it is the Royal Blue Luchance. Modelo 
Modelo 55S and it is a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and the ink in here is KWZ Gummy Berry which is a beautiful ink it's an ink that I've been using a lot lately the next pen is a Scribo Fill in the Verde Prato so we'll do an ink swatch here but this is a beautiful ink so this is the Scribo Fill in the Verde and it's Prato and it's a medium 14 cat gold nib and the ink in here is Pilot Eroshizuku Chikurin which is a lovely green ink and honestly I do think that that green ink matches that pen almost perfectly. And then the last pen is the Scribo Fill in the Verde Bosco. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can just see that this is quite a wet ink as well. So this is a Scribo fill in the Verde Bosco. It's a medium 14 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Akamon Bazurden Wood Gron which is one of my favourite green inks. So I think let's go through these pens inked up one more time. We have a Visconti Speakeasy in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Visconti St Basil in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have a Visconti Camelot in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. We have a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red with a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Kauseki in a medium 21 cat gold nib inked up with Pilot Oroshizuku Sukushi. We have a Sailor King of Pen Pro Gear Ocean Limited Edition or Special Edition in a medium 21 carat gold nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine. We have a Molteni Royal Blue Luchens Modelo 55S in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with KWZ Gummy Berry. We have a Scribo Fill in the Verde Prato with a medium 14 carat gold nib inked up with Pilot Washer Zuku Chiku Rin and then last but not least we have a Scribo Fill in the Verde Bosco in a medium 14 cat gold nib inked up with Akamon Bazudan Woodgrown. So there you have it that's my currently inked pens for this week thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye